a very dangerous winter storm is coming, and this is the kind of system that you don't want to ignore. Ingredients are coming together at the right time to support widespread snow and ice, with impacts possible from Texas all the way to the East Coast. This rare weather pattern will begin with a powerful Arctic air mass surging south, bringing life-threatening cold to parts of the northern plains and Midwest. Wind chills could drop to 65 degrees below zero. And as this cold expands southward, it will only cause more issues issues in the southern United States. While this Arctic blast crashes south, a surge of Gulf moisture is moving north at unusually high levels. As that moisture runs into the entrenched cold air, precipitation will intensify quickly, which will elevate the risk of significant snow and ice across the region. What makes this setup especially concerning is how slowly it's going to evolve. Models are suggesting that the majority of our winter precipitation could slow down or even stall completely, which would lead to places like Oklahoma Oklahoma City, Little Rock, and Nashville seeing up to one foot of snow, and Dallas and Shreveport could see over one inch of freezing rain. Snow and ice accumulations of this magnitude in these areas will lead to widespread power outages and near impossible travel conditions. So in today's forecast, I'm going to break down exactly what you need to know about this major winter storm that is about to slam the southern United States. And guys, I'm going to be honest right off the bat, this is one of the most concerning winter storm trends that I have seen over the last five years. We could be talking about a crippling and very dangerous winter storm impacting areas from the southern plains back through the southeast and the east coast. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's talk about what's actually going to be happening here throughout the middle and end of the week. And believe it or not, our first snow system will actually be making its way across the Midwest and the northern plains on Wednesday. This is going to be a small little Alberta clipper. This is not really going to be anything crazy. We're talking maybe one to two inches of snow in areas like Chicago, southern Wisconsin, and Michigan. And that'll continue throughout the daytime on Wednesday. As we go into late Wednesday, Wednesday and early Thursday, we'll have a little storm system just to the north of the Great Lakes, bringing some light to moderate snow to Pennsylvania, Michigan, and across the Northeast. That'll continue throughout the daytime on Thursday. And generally speaking, Thursday is actually going to be the quietest day of the week when it comes to precipitation in general. But really, the big story for Thursday is not going to be the rain and snow. It's going to be a very powerful high pressure system that's going to be dropping out of Canada. And that's what's going to bring a very strong Arctic blast down into the southern plains, the southeast, dropping temperatures significantly. Significantly. And even if you're in the Midwest and the Northern Plains, there will be some select locations, especially north of Minneapolis, that will have wind chills as low as 60 degrees below zero. So we are talking about extreme cold across the Northern Plains and the Midwest on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So if you're all the way up there in the north, you might not be dealing with a winter storm, but there will be some very extreme winter conditions happening. Now, Friday is when things are really going to crank, especially if you are in the Central and Southern Plains, as we are going to start to see our Arctic air mass start to come all the way down out of Canada and that is going to meet up with moisture that's coming out of the Pacific and as well as the Gulf and we're basically going to have this imaginary boundary that's in place that's going to stretch from New Mexico back into Virginia. That right there is where all that moisture and cold air is going to meet at once and it's going to create a very large winter storm unlike really anything that we've seen over the last five to ten years. This is a very different weather setup as we have so many different key factors that are happening here. It's really not a typical low pressure system here. We do not have a large low low pressure system like in the southeast for example that's at 986 millibars no we actually have a very intense high pressure system at 1054 millibars back over in south dakota and that's going to squeeze that cold air down and essentially create this very large and powerful winter storm so as we go into friday afternoon is when the wintry precipitation will begin to ramp up this is the beginning of a long stretch of wintry weather we will have some freezing rain and snow beginning across oklahoma kansas even back towards little rock Arkansas. Arkansas, some light snow will begin. Very light freezing rain will start near the Red River Valley of Texas back towards Amarillo and Lubbock. And then during the evening is when things really start to intensify. Notice how those pinks and those blues start to get a little bit darker across parts of Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Texas. We will begin to see freezing rain as early as about 4 to 5 o'clock if you're back over near Dallas, Fort Worth, and in far northern North Texas. That is where a significant ice storm is on the table for Friday and Saturday. Freezing rain will also increase in coverage from southern Arkansas back towards Lubbock, and then we'll also have some snow, which will be fairly light in general across Oklahoma and Arkansas. By the evening and into the overnight hours, that is when this winter storm will really explode in intensity, and by far the European model, which is the one I'm showing you here, is showing the most intense scenario when it comes to this winter storm. It shows very heavy uh, freezing rain happening all throughout the overnight hours on Friday, stretching from central Mississippi back towards Dallas, Fort Worth, and Amarillo, and this could cause a lot of problems. If we see freezing rain like this for an 
extended period of time, we will likely have widespread power outages, and on top of that, infrastructure damage is going to be a big problem. Moderate to heavy snow will continue, especially near where that freezing rain's falling, so if you're back over in Amarillo or Oklahoma City, definitely be ready for some heavier snowfall during the morning hours on Saturday. Throughout the day on Saturday, this imaginary boundary will basically be sitting here just beneath this high pressure system, and we are going to continue to have a lot of moisture coming out of the Gulf and the Pacific, and that's going to fuel a very intense winter storm throughout the daytime on Saturday. I do want to point out that for Saturday and Sunday, it's a lot harder to give you an idea of what exactly what's going to be happening. So this is an approximate overview of what's going to probably be happening on Saturday, which means that we're going to have freezing rain from West Texas all the way back over towards South Carolina with heavy freezing rain likely smack dab in the middle of that, and then light to moderate snowfall all across the Central Plains back into Tennessee, including Nashville and perhaps even Southern Kentucky. And then on Sunday morning, this winter storm continues to track to the east, bringing ice and as well as snow to areas in the mid-Atlantic as this will likely be a cold air damming event and that'll continue across the Carolinas and Georgia and obviously if we have any ice in Georgia that is going to be a disaster near Atlanta so that is definitely not a good sign right now snow will continue across Maryland West Virginia and then all the way back through Kansas Sunday afternoon and evening and then by Monday this winter storm may continue even back over in the northeast and to put this into perspective this could be more significant than the winter storm that we had in the southern plains back in 2021 many of you remember 2021 that was a brutal winter in texas and i'm not ruling out that this is one of the worst winter storms that we've had in over five years here in the united states we're talking about a significant ice storm that could cripple texas all the way back towards south carolina throughout the daytime on saturday and sunday and that would likely continue impacts at least into monday as all those freezing temperatures will come from the back side of that low pressure system that will eventually form back along the east coast so we could have multi-day impacts here all across the southern plains in the southeast i know a lot of you are excited excited about this winter storm and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm really not this is not a winter storm that you really want to have down here in the south and the southeast because we are talking about such a significant threat of ice and if we were to see anything like what the models are showing right now which they are likely onto something here we are probably gonna have major impacts for several days this is also the GFS model for reference and it still shows a very similar scenario here it shows significant sleet ice and as well as snow falling all from the southern plains back towards the east coast this is not going to be fun once again if you're back over in texas mississippi alabama anywhere throughout that i-10 stretch as this could be again a very crippling ice storm that does end up happening so please make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and definitely start to make preparations now you should not be waiting until thursday or friday to see what it's actually going to be i would at least get the basics done if you have a generator get that ready to go if you have batteries or if you don't have batteries make sure to get those as well have flashlights ready to go get all your devices charged up even ones that might have been in the drawer for the last five years and there is a real world possibility here that we could have widespread power outages from Texas all the way through Georgia and South Carolina for several days if any of these scenarios were to pan out. Now in just a moment I will show you how much snow and ice could fall and I'm talking about exact numbers that could come out of this winter storm but before we do that I do want to show you the probabilities of how much snow we could see beginning with at least one inch of snowfall and those probabilities are very high well up over 90 percent essentially from New Mexico through Oklahoma almost the entire state of Oklahoma and Kansas will at least see one inch of snow out of this winter storm that also includes Virginia Beach back into northern North Carolina and even across Tennessee almost all of Tennessee is in at least a 70% chance of at least seeing accumulating snowfall so very good news if you want snow and then this is what it looks like if you want more than six inches of snowfall the probabilities are growing very very rapidly back over near Oklahoma City Tulsa and over towards Fayetteville Arkansas we are now up close to a 70 to 80 percent chance of seeing greater than six inches of snowfall out of this winter storm probably Probabilities are also growing back over the mid-Atlantic. We're now over 80%. If you're in Virginia, Southern Maryland, and Southern Delaware, we can essentially lock in that we are going to see a winter storm Friday and Saturday. That is essentially a guarantee at this point. It's just going to come down to the degree of how much snow and ice we're going to see. And in just a second, I'm going to show you what we might end up seeing out of this winter storm. Now, just a quick disclaimer before we go over the possibility of how much snow and ice you could see, this is very early data and things are going to change. Models are still a little bit all over the place with where the heaviest snow is going to fall and where the most significant ice is going to happen and so there are some uncertainties as of right now but I want to give you an idea of how significant this winter storm is going to be in case you did not already believe it already when I showed you the future radar that this is going to be a major winter storm and could be one of the worst in five years this is what the European model is currently showing granted this is still about 90 to 100 hours out so things are definitely going to change here but it does show a very significant swath of snow essentially from Texas all the way through Tennessee and Kentucky even showing some spots near Little Rock and even towards Oklahoma City around a 
foot of snowfall. And that is because this storm is going to be so slowly moving because all that cold air and moisture is just going to get entrapped and we're not going to really have any movement in our jet stream to actually push this thing along towards the east coast. So that's going to slow things down and that is why we think this could be a much more significant winter storm even if the snow across almost this entire region is on the lighter side of things. It doesn't matter. It's such a slow moving system that the snow is likely going to stack up very quickly. This is for reference the GFS model which shows it much further down to the south which is why I am very cautious again on showing you the exact numbers because you can see how big of a difference there is here. This is about a 100 to 200 mile shift to the south and that's obviously a major difference here. So either way we could see one of these scenarios pan out. What do I think will happen? I do think this scenario is the more likely of the two in terms of the placement of where the most significant snow is. But again do not get too caught up in the numbers here. Now in terms of the east coast I think the most significant snow will likely be across Virginia and North Carolina. Again the European model showing some pretty crazy numbers right now right around a foot of snow across much of Virginia and North Carolina which would make this a very significant winter storm and then this is the GFS model once again much further down to the south and also a thinner corridor across North Carolina Virginia and Southern Maryland but I do want to point out the European model has been much more consistent the GFS model is now correcting towards what the European model is showing which is why I have a bit more confidence that we're going to see what the European model is showing in terms of snow and ice at least when it comes to where the most significant snow and ice is going to happen and then in terms of ice accumulation this is where things could be historic in the south. We could be talking about a major ice storm from Dallas, Fort Worth, even back towards Lubbock, all the way into Georgia, Tennessee, and even the Carolinas. And keep in mind, it only takes a one hundredth of an inch of ice for there to be major travel problems because most of these areas do not have roadways that are treated. So we could almost undoubtedly be talking about a lot of places shut down Saturday, Sunday, and Monday if this were to pan out. And this is not just an impact when it comes to you traveling. It also impacts all the businesses out here. Small businesses could be impacted. I mean, we're talking about three days here that we could have closures across many states and obviously this is a brutal setup so let's just hope this does not happen but it's trending in the wrong direction infrastructure damage power outages are all on the table next weekend and then this is the gfs model which shows it a little bit further down to the south for our main ice corridor and a little bit lower of numbers in terms of ice accumulation but again it's still pretty significant no no matter how you split it here and then this is back over on the east coast and we could be talking about a cold air damming event over here where we have some pretty significant ice back over in the carolinas and georgia but again it's too early for specific numbers. I just want to give you an idea of who should at least be preparing for ice and snow. That way you know if you are in the zone here. Again, most of the south, southeast, and the Ohio Valley, you are at least in the zone for some impacts here. Ice being the most concerning. Snow not nearly as concerning. It's a bit more fun, obviously, for a lot of you that don't see snow that often, but it will still cause major travel problems for sure. And as always, thank you all so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. We will likely have another video today, but if not, we'll have one tomorrow, so stay tuned, and we will see you in the next forecast.